So your physical illnesses can transfer over to you. But when you share space with personifications of opposition energy, you have to be careful because mental illness can also transfer over to you. Mm. And you know, the European possesses multiple mental illnesses. But one of the primary mental illnesses that we have to be very careful not to absorb is the mental illness of bisexuality, okay? Um, and, and, be, and you know, just so you know that I'm not just standing up here talking to be, hear myself talk, I can explain what I mean when I say bisexuality is their mental illness. And if we, shit now, that don't mean that you, because you absorb it don't mean you have to practice it. But if you accept it as valid, you know, because acceptance is the first phase to participation, right? You don't participate in nothing without accepting it first. So if you accept the bisexuality, say, well, you know, I don't practice it, but I respect it. You know, I respect what people do. If you accept it, it's not a stretch that at some point you might participate because acceptance is the first line to participation. You know what I mean? Now, when you're talking about the Europeans' bisexuality, you have to start with us. You have to start with melanin. Kim Toon and the Black Adam, as our ancestors, our comedic ancestors called melanin, right? Kim Toon, the melanin. Now, when most people talk about melanin, they usually talk about melanin, they relegate melanin down to skin melanin only. You know what I mean? Right. You know, as if that's the only function of melanin. You'll hear people say that melanin is in the dermis, epidermis layers of the skin, and it protects the skin from the UV rays of the sun. Otherwise, if it didn't, it does, the UV rays of the sun would penetrate the skin cells, burn them out, causing, potentially causing melanoma or skin cancer. This is very, very, very true. However, this is not the only function of melanin. Melanin is filtered through our mind and our body, you know. And, you know, a lot of people don't understand, we want to say the complexity of melanin, but it's very simplistic in our body. You know, on the brainstem of every, not, every melanated African person on this planet, there exists 12 melanated cell centers on the brainstem. And melanin is an energy conducted. It absorbs energy, it disseminates energy. Where does it get the energy from? Well, it collects energy from our body's biochemistry internally. And externally, it collects energy from the atmospheric energy. And it takes this high-powered energy and it stimulates it on the brainstem. And it automatically moves this energy up to the top two melanated cell centers, which is the locus carulus and what is called the substantia nigra. When this happens, in the brain, neurotransmitters are activated. No epinephrine, adrenaline, dopamine. These neurotransmitters then push the high-powered energy from the brainstem into both hemispheres of the brain, turning the brain functions on. For example, every African person, every human being has a cerebellum. Now, we as African people, we have rhythm, right? We, we have rhythm because our cerebellum is turned on with the melanin battery. White people also have a cerebellum in their brain. They have the same brain functions that we have. They have the same brain organs that we have, but they have no rhythm. Why? because it's not turned on with the melanin battery. You know what I mean? It's like if you have a vehicle, you have a brand new car, let's say a, a white car that you just purchased, right? Right? With a very nice white paint job on it. You know, got rims on it, sound system is banging, upholstery is nice, engine is powerful. My question to you is, will that car move one inch without a battery? No. See, that's the same thing with the Europeans' brain system. They have the same brain organs we have. They have, they have a, a, pineal gland, a pineal gland, they have a pituitary gland, they have a hypothalamus, they have a hippocampus, but it's not turned on. For example, take the hippocampus, the brain's hippocampus. In the brain, the hippocampus is a information processor. It takes perception of what we, it takes perception of the physical and material world, and it connects it back to conception of what is being perceived in the physical and material world. So everything in nature, according to a melanated hippocampus, has a spiritual foundation. So what happens to the hippocampus in the brain if there's no melanin, if the battery is not turned on? 
Well then, let's say for example a tree. For us, a tree is like the hair on the body of the Creator. A tree is part of the Creator's purpose, right? So we respect the tree. The tree was provided not only to African humanity, but it was provided to all living organisms. It provides shelter, it provides medicine, it provides food, and through the core field of the green leaf, it provides oxygen, respiration, so we can breathe and live. So we know that these attributes of the tree come from the creative forces. So we're not going to violate the tree. We're not going to spit on the tree. We're not going to cut the tree down. But the white man does not have the melanated hippocampus. The battery's not turned on. So to them, a tree is just a tree. So then comes deforestation, logging. You know what I mean? Spitting on trees, cutting trees down for recreation. I, saw, I turned on ESPN one day. I seen these country crackers. <laughs> With this thing where they was logging, right? They was they was running up a hill with these. Now they done cut down a tree so they can have this competition mm. about carrying this tree up a mountain, and then they timing each other. This is on TV. And I'm looking at myself. They gonna cut down a tree mm -hmm. just for this recreational sport? The nerve of these crackers. You know what I mean? Now, in the brain's hypothalamus and pituitary gland, right? This is where I want, to, I, want, I, want, I want you to listen very closely. In the brain's hypothalamus and pituitary gland, these brain functions, these brain organs are responsible for shooting the correct balance of hormones into the bloodstream to give you a sense of emotional attractability to the complementary gender, right? Now for a female, the right balance would be 85% estrogen, 15% testosterone. For the man, it would be 85% testosterone, 15% estrogen. That's the correct balance. Okay. If the hypothalamus and the pituitary, pituitary gland are working in unison as the melanin battery is turned on, mm -hmm. right? Gives you a sense of intimacy with, a, a sense of intimacy and attractability to the complementary agenda. This keeps the procreative cycle of life in balance. But with the European, there's no battery. The battery's not turned on. So the hormones are, number one, underdeveloped, and they, they can only work inward without going into the bloodstream. So for the European, it gives them a sensory of self-stimulation, which equates to masturbation. You find somebody to masturbate with, and you got homosexuality and lesbianism. This is why I say every white person on the planet is bisexual by essence. I don't like to say nature, because people that wake up every day to destroy nature shouldn't have nature associated with their name. So I say, by essence, they're all bisexual, homosexuals, mm -hmm. because the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland does not work properly. It is a mutation because of the lack of melanin and the brain derivatives of melatonin and serotonin. Mm -hmm. Now we can start the second half. I just want to get that up. <laughs> I'm going to take that.